Good afternoon um, and uh, yes, welcome uh, to what promises to be a, a really interesting uh, session. We're very grateful to Colin and to Celia for uh, performing, if that's the right word, this afternoon. Of course, this project was much wider than, than, than just Colin. Uh, because originally it, became, it came out of the, uh, the work of the art table at Walking Wednesday and very much Russell uh, Robson and Joe Holland were involved and uh, certainly in the early days, uh, sadly they're not able to be with us of course today to share in what's going on, uh, but Colin continued, but only Colin can and uh, uh, so we're very grateful uh, to him for that and we look forward. Uh, he does me to say a few words about, uh, about King Alfred, the great <coughs> linchpin of English uh, Christianity, and I'll tell you everything that I know, which won't take many seconds. Uh, he was born in the year 849, and he was the King of, West, of the West Saxons, who effectively brought to an end the constant threat of Danish domination in the British Isles. He came to the throne at the age of 22, and after establishing peace, he set about bringing stability to both church and state. He gave half of his income to founding religious houses, which themselves acted as Christian centres for education, care of the sick and the poor, and respite for travellers. He was a daily attendant at Mass, and himself translated many works into the vernacular. He evolved a legal code based on common sense and Christian mercy, his whole life was marked by the compassion of Christ and he died on this day in the year 899. I'm looking forward to seeing how Colin is going to reenact the 22 year old <laughs> King Alfred. And, uh, and so he's now going to tell us about his life. Let's imagine as we call Alfred back to explain himself. Come forth Alfred, come explain yourself. Quiet! That means listen. You may be wondering why I am wearing this cloak and why I came with a crook and why I pick up this sword. The thing was, I was never expecting to be a king. I, well, there were five brothers, of which I was the youngest, and our father, Ethelwolf, was king, and we weren't expecting to get down to me. But you will hear later on how it came about. Anyway, I wondered, I thought perhaps that your Anglo-Saxon wouldn't be very good because not many people speak it nowadays. But just listen to this. Oh, incidentally, in my little book, I, from a very early age, kept a little book from when I could first scribble. People used to write things for me in it that they thought I ought to know. And I was very good at learning. I could learn poems and and stories from the early, my earliest years. 
but I always had a little book with me to write things down or to get someone else to write them down if they seemed important. And here it is. Now here, they see if you recognize this. Fede ora for the erst on hivonum. Si the nama gihad go. Give us thine will on eothan swa swa on hivonum. which being interpreted is our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that is how the language of my time was spoken. But it was a problem for me to be a king because I didn't like the cruel side that had to be if you were going to be a ruler in those days. Because Jesus said that, well he didn't say, but he believed that you should love your enemies and not kill them. But we had to kill our enemies if we wanted to maintain our rule. And so it was often very cruel 